So let's tackle the maths shapes equation now. Obviously, you will get this. I got it like twice during my UCAT exam. And first time around I did the UCAT, I kind of wanted to isolate this like question and just skip it because I really didn't know how to tackle it. Second time round I did the UCAT, I thought, you know what, I can't neglect you now. I've got to figure out your, like, how do you work? So I spent a good two weeks specifically tackling this sort of question and I finally found a way to tackle it. Now it's more of a systematic way, more of a solid way, rather than a hit and trial method, which I absolutely hate. I hate hit and trial methods and just, oh, if I do this, maybe it could work maybe so i hate beating around the bush so i found this method and enough waffling let's get straight into it but before we do you need to know how to rearrange equations and you need to know a bit of basic algebra if you know that you're totally fine if not no worries go onto youtube type in how to rearrange equations and that's pretty much it and then come back and attempt this now if you want to attempt it yourself first please go ahead and then we can go through it together. If not, then we're still gonna go through it together. So, which of the following make the last equation true? Now, is it a triangle, circle, rectangle, or a square? Now, how do we know which one it is? Well, there's one method and one method is substitution. But how do we do it? So, for like, to make life easier, each of these shapes I'm going to abbreviate by their letters. So circle is C, rectangle is R, square is S, triangle is T. You get the idea. So the first step is make one shape equal to one. Now which shape do we make it equal to one? Which shape do we make equal to one? Now, so I would go with the equation, with the shape that's in the most simplest equation. So that's this one here, the first one. So that circle equals rectangle plus rectangle. Now which shape do we make equal one? Now I really do prefer to like avoid decimals at all costs because later on then it just gets a lot more messier. So let's make rectangle equal one. Now you're probably thinking, wait, why not, why not circle? So if we make circle equal one, then that means one equals rectangle plus rectangle. Now, if we simplify that further, it makes two rectangles equals one, and then rearrange again, one over two equals a rectangle. That's a decimal, 0 0.5, we don't want that. So, yeah, you could go ahead and do that, but it's totally up to you. Now. What I prefer doing is this. So let's make a rectangle equal one, and therefore that makes circle equal two. Now, how did I do that? Let's simplify it. So first step, we made rectangle equal one. So that's one plus one. Now, one plus one equals two, quick maths. Circle, therefore, equals two. So now we've got our answer of circle equals two and rectangle equals one, but we're not there yet, so let's continue. So let's try and work out what the other shapes equal. So let's try and think of which shape do we attack next? Well, to be honest with you, it's not about which shape, but which equation and which equation is the most simplest. Now here we've only got two variables, a square and a rectangle, and we've got what? Our rectangle equals which is 1 so let's attempt this so 1 which is our rectangle equals 3 squares now let's rearrange this so it's 1 over 3 which equals a square obviously here we can't really avoid decimals so we're just gonna have to go with it and in decimal form this should be 0 0.33 so our square equals 0 0.33 so what's the next step Okay, so now we've got our rectangle, circle, and square. So the only one that's left is the triangle. So let's attempt this question here. So rectangle plus a square equals a triangle minus a square. So let's 
substitute in our numbers that we have. So rectangle equals one, square equals 0.33, equals triangle, which we don't know yet, minus square, which is 0.33. Now let's rearrange this. This is literally, we're gonna take this 0.33 to the other side and it's gonna add 0.33. So one plus 0.33 plus 0.33 equals triangle. So th this should give us 1.66, which equals triangle. So triangle equals 1.66. So now we have all four shapes and what they're equal to. Let's attempt the last equation. So rectangle, which is one, plus triangle, which is 1.66, equals circle, which is two, plus our square, which is 0.33, plus our magic unknown shape. So let's simplify this equation a little bit more. So 2.66, because I add one plus 1.66, equals 2.33, plus our unknown shape. Now well, let's rearrange this again. So let's subtract 2.33 from 2.66 and we should get shape. And as we know our magic shape or should be square because 0.33 equals to a square. So our answer is square and that's how you attack, attempt to work out your maths shapes equation. So hopefully this technique helped and if you want me to attempt other different types styles of question involving these math shapes equations then comment down below and I'll make a whole new series going through a whole load probably a hundred different questions specifically attacking this.